Hey friends, it's your girl Melissa Q. Thank you so much for coming back for another video. In today's video, we're gonna go through some empties. Girl, I got some good ones. We don't have to start the day yet. I just wanna stay. Even if we run late. In today's video, we are going to go through my skincare empties. Y'all call me a queen for a reason. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so not in any particular order. I'm gonna tell you if I love it, if I would repurchase it. I am very, I'm meticulous. I am very like mm, adamant about certain things in my skincare routine these days. We'll talk about that more in an in-depth like sit down video, but these are like mini reviews, right? And I'm going to tell you if I would repurchase it and, and it's like a no-brainer because it really has to have a significant, it, it has to make a difference on my skin because I do try a lot of skincare products. Brands send me skincare products and girl, some of it I try, but some of it I don't because it does, it just, it got, it has to get me. But let's hop into it because we got a lot to talk about. Let's just go ahead and talk about Mary Kay. Mary Kay is probably one of the most influential skincare um, this is the one that got me really into a skincare routine. I don't know about you guys, but it got me into a skincare routine. Now, of course, the packaging has changed over the years, but this is the time wise. This is the age minimized 3D 4-in-1 cleanser. So it is a cleanser, a toner, an exfoliator, and um, I think it's a makeup remover as well, but you use it morning and evening. I think this is kind of washed out. Let me bring this down. Let me bring the the exposure down just a little bit a bit of the lighting, but this is the cleanser, you use it day and night. Then this is the eye cream, you use it day and night. And this is the day cream, and then this is the night cream. I love how everything is color coded. Would I repurchase this again? I really like the cleanser. It was a really good foam. If anybody tells you that cleanser to like, you can spend less on a cleanser, but cleanser is important because you need to make sure everything is out of those pores, okay? But this is really good. Would I repurchase this? I have to think twice about this, so maybe not. I think it is. It needs to impress me. I, I don't think that this is better than the Miracle set that they used to have that was in white with the day and night solution. I felt like that this was okay. You know what I mean? I didn't feel like a 40-year-old woman would be using this. I, I felt like this was that's something that I would use in my late 20s 30s so even though I feel like it doesn't work for me right now I need something a little bit stronger if you are in your 30s I feel like that that is a perfect like if you want to get down a routine and you need something and you are into skincare systems then girl that is for you I will leave links down below of things that I think that you would need. Let's talk about a cluster of things that I feel like if you are in the late 30s or if you are in your 40s, this is something that you need in your life. This is the Kate Somerville Dermal Quench Liquid Lift. This firmed my skin and hydrated my skin like nobody else's business. And so it's an advanced wrinkle treatment. This did wonders. Like I could tell the difference with this. Um, as soon as I put this on my skin, it like, there's nothing in there. That's That means it was good. Yes, I would purchase this and this is a pricey item. I would pur purchase this in a heartbeat. That's what I'm talking about. If I had to think twice about it and because I try a lot of skincare, I'm just gonna tell y'all, I, if I have to think twice, then no, I'm not going to get it, right? But this is an inexpensive product, but I would hands down get this over again because this reminds me of the drink elephant, the drink elephant, the drunk elephant jelly cleanser, but this was like a fraction of the price. This is Good Molecules Rose Water Daily Cleansing Gel. Phenomenal, okay? It does not cost a lot, but it it the performance far exceeds the price tag. I'm just saying, this is so good. I would repurchase it in a heartbeat. This is a cleanser that I, like it's glass. So it's quality. And this is the thing I love about uh, Good Molecules is they talk about day and night. Like it tells you literally when you should be using the product at the time you should be using it. So yes, I would repurchase that. Let's talk about something else I would repurchase. This is Youth to the People. This is Adaptation 
adaptogen, soothe and hydrate activated mist. I'm talking fast because I have a lot to get through. And y'all, this is speed reviews. Just saying. <laughs> This is the activated mist. This was like basically hyaluronic acid in a mist. I learned that because hyaluronic acid is like glycerin, you need to actually have, before you start putting serums and things on your face, you need to, if glyc glycerin is one of those things that it is a humectant, which means that it attracts moisture. So you kind of need to put that on your skin while it's damp. I really, really, really like this. I love the mister. I don't even know if it will miss for you guys, but no, it's gone. I will repurchase. Okay, another thing I would repurchase. This is the Advanced Snail. Yes, I did say snail. This is the Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence by Cos RX. You can pick this up from Ulta, hands down, no joke. I missed this already and uh, there's nothing else in here. It is a K-Beauty product, but I hands down would repurchase this. Like this is like holy grail status, no joke. I am on a no buy right now, but that is one that I, as soon I was like, I'm putting it in a cart so I can remember to get it. Yes, if anybody gives me an old gift card, your girl, is, your girl is picking up that. Yes. Okay, another one I would pick up. It is pricey, but this was a vitamin C that I could instantly tell the difference. The radiance of my skin. Oh my goodness, this was so good. This is the Beauty Counter All Bright C Serum. It has turmeric, vitamin C, 10% vitamin C, and I really liked it a lot. I feel like if you are in your late 30s, your 40s, maybe even 50s, you can use something like this and you will see a difference. Like vitamin C, should, your skin should instantly go radiant. You know what I mean? It should get rid of the dullness. And this had turmeric in it too. So yes, repurchase. Another product. It's pricey, but it's worth it. This is the Tatcha Pure One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. This is a product from Tatcha that I really, really, really liked because it got all the makeup off, but my face felt cleansed. I'm just saying it was so luxurious, but it's one of those that's like, ooh, girl, it's pricey, but it's good. It's one of those things. So if you want to go looks and you want something that works because all looks products are not made the same, but this one actually works. Hands down, one of my favorite cleansers that's from a luxury brand that actually works. Yes, repurchase. Okay, these are these must I must have put these in in for a reason. But this is another one that works. This is the Resurgence Hydrating Toner by Murad. This was a phenomenal toner. It's a spray toner, and I do have a video back in the day that I think I'm gonna have to remake as to why you should be using a toner in your skincare routine. Yeah. But um, this is definitely one that spritz and made it really easy. You didn't have to put it on a cotton pad. You actually could spray it on if you wanted to. But yes, it is still a must have. I still stand behind it. I said what I said. 111 Skin Vitamin C Brightening Booster. It was okay. It was, I would say this is mm, 20s, 30s. But y'all, I, I have a good alternative that does not cost as much as this that would be phenomenal and i just i just feel like you know if you're gonna go go if you're gonna go go all the way good jeans by sunday riley definitely worth the price it's definitely worth the quality of what you get this is a deep exfoliate for clarity radiance and younger looking skin sunday riley just gets it i don't know some people just they don't like sunday riley but sunday riley just does it for me their luna oil all of it they're they have a rich vitamin C cream. Yes. If I can remember as much skincare that I go through, if I can remember what it is, then you doing a good job, girl. Talk about some good skincare from the drugstore. This is one of my favorite micellar waters from the drugstore. It's this one specifically, okay? The reason why I'm saying this is because I go back to my videos sometimes because I can't remember everything, right? But this is the Skin Active Micellar Water. This is the vitamin C one. All brightening, removes makeup, cleanses, and gives you a glow. You can use it on your lips, face, and eyes. And it's for dull, uh, dull skin and even sensitive skin. This one was a winner. winner. Garnier did a job, a good job with this one. Repurchase. Deep cleansing oil, my favorite, <laughs> my favorite deep cleansing 
oil, like my oil. This is just goodness all up in a bottle. Somebody did it right when they made this. This is the DHC deep cleansing oil, y'all. It turns into, first it's an oil, but it turns into like a milky foam. You could double cleanse with the same product. This is what I love it. You don't even have to go in with like a foaming cleanser. You can just go in with this again and it just foams up down the sink. Amazing. Would repurchase. It's my holy grail cleansing oil. Love that. Let's talk about Lancer. I would not repurchase this. It was a little bit abrasive. It was very, very fragrant, but I did like it. It did the job now. It did the job, but this is the Method Polish. It was really, really, really good, but it was just a little bit too fragrant. It was very, very strong. And I find that there's some other exfoliants that were really good. And um, yeah, this was just too much for the price that it is. It does the job but too much for the price. But if you love it, I know a lot of people are true to that brand, then go for it, girl. This one was really good, Tula. This is the Cult Classic Purifying Cleanser. This cleanses your skin like nobody else's business, okay? If you need a really good clarifying cleanser, Tula is a, your girl, okay? It's really, really good. I recommend it. I would repurchase that cleanser, okay? Let's talk about, I must put it all like a lot of drugstore or inexpensive products in here. Um, besides that Lancer. This is the Mineral 89 by Vichy. This, phenomenal. This is a holy grail. This is amazing. I will come with my holy grail skincare products because some people may not want to go through these speed reviews. They just want it short and sweet, but this is definitely a holy grail. I will bag up and do another video on it right after this one probably because so many of these are in this video. But this is a hyaluronic acid that I feel like, oh my goodness, it sinks in all the goodness plus all your serums. Put this behind it, Lord have mercy. I can tell the difference and talk about hydration. If you have dehydrated skin, that is what you want. Boop. This, oh, this was so good. This is the L'Oreal Collagen Moisture Filler Hydrant. This is a day and night moisturizer. I talked about this until the wheels fell off. This is an amazing moisturizer from the drugstore. If you have oily skin, use this at night. But if you have dry skin, use a day and night girl. You're gonna be able to tell the difference. It firms the skin. Don't play with L'Oreal. There are some good stuff at, there are good things at the drugstore. This is one of them. Repurchase, repurchase. This one was a good one. This is from, um, I got a, uh, I got like a 90, it was a, it was like $90 from Sephora and it had a lot of Tatcha products. This is the Tatcha, the Rice Polish Classic. This was worth the money. However, however, I have an alternative for you guys from Good Molecules that is just as good. But this polish is amazing, darling. If you like Tatcha, you're gonna like this. I feel like that this is a cult classic. If you want something that's not an abrasive exfoliant, the rice polish is what you need in your life. If you have sensitive skin, that is a good exfoliant. And if you don't, if you want something that you can actually feel in your hands, because sometimes some people don't want those chemical type of exfoliants, but they want to feel something on their hands, rubbing their face. That one is very, very gentle, but it does the job. And I'm like, how does this disappear and just still do what it needs to do? Yes. I actually have two. I have one from Dermalogica and I have one from Good Molecules that I'll share with you guys in this video. Another favorite. This was the Good Morning Honey Silk Facial Serum by uh, Hey Honey. This was really good. This gave me some radiance. It was a good like, it was almost like a primer. It was really, really good. It has amino acids. It has, it's a rich moisturizer with honey, silk, amino acids, sea buckthorn, and vitamin E. This one is really good. You can use it under makeup or you can use it as a primer before your makeup. I recommend this. This was really good. Speaking of Sunday Riley, remember I told you the this is the C C Rich Moisturizer. This <laughs> I've had the big one and now I've finished a small one. This is like one of my favorite. If you have dry, dehydrated, or even mature skin, you need to try this moisturizer. I'm just saying. Thank me later. It's like a dual one. It's a two-in-one vitamin C 
moisturizer. You don't even have to put vitamin C on as a serum if you use that. I'm just saying because it's in your moisturizer. This one I would not repurchase. This is again from 111. This is the Crypto ADP Sports Booster. It was okay. I feel like the Vichet Trump this. Yes, don't get mad at me 111. I do like your face mask. <laughs> yes. So this one was from a brand that I had never heard of, but I really liked. This is from Payalt Paris. This is the Hydra 24 uh, Cream Glace. It was really good. I got this from a Ipsy Glam Bag and it was really good. Vino. This is, I hope this is not washed out. This is a pos positively radiant moisturizer. Replaced it with another Aveeno. Y'all seen me talk about the hydrate, hydrate and Protect. So much better. It has more SPF in it. This is SPF 30. So this would be, I would say if you're in your 20s and your early 30s, this would be a good like drugstore SPF, but I still think the Hydrate and Protect because it's thin, it's good for sensitive skin, it's still radiant, and it's thinner. This is so. the Confidence in a Cream Anti-Aging uh, Moisturizer. I would pick this up just from the sample. Now, I've never had the large size, but I really like this. It gave me, it was enough to impress me just from this small size, so I can't give you fully the lowdown on this moisturizer but it impressed me enough to go like purchase the full size and it's pricey so yes all right let's get to a drugstore cleanser now this one is a foam of course and this is it so it looks just like this it's, it's pretty much gone like i mean that was just and it smells good this is the ultra hydrating alkaline cloud cleanser it has ironic acid and snow mushroom this was really good and it was, it exceeded the price tag. So this one is a drugstore favorite cleanser of mine. It gave hydration. I feel like if you are a woman with mature skin and you want something from the drugstore that you need to pick up, but it's going to work for your skin. If you have hydrated skin, this is a plus. It foams really well, obviously. And um, yeah, I would repurchase that. This is a repurchase for me. This is the Stem Cellular anti wrinkle Booster from Juice Beauty. Juice Beauty, I was like, y'all, you know, I was like, huh, huh, it's gone. I was sad when this left. So this is, I just talked about this in a favorites video and that's how fast I went through it. Like I kept picking this up, which lets me know that I love it so much. The last product I'm gonna say, it's not a skincare product, but it's important because if you do not cleanse your brushes, or your sponges properly that bacteria gets on your face you have breakouts this is the this is the what is this the real techniques this is the brush and sponge cleansing gel it's deep cleansing for makeup and tool care i like this a lot however i would not repurchase it let me tell you why this i feel like you need more cleanser than i feel like expected okay it did the job but i i just it ran out too quickly. You know what I'm saying? Um, I still would stay with my like Castell soap. And even if I use the soap, the actual bar soap, at least I could use it with my brushes and it really cleanses it. And plus it makes it smell good. But this, it did the job. It was really good. Something I wanted to pick up, but I would not repurchase because I felt like I had to use too much of it to really get my, particularly my sponges clean. It did the job definitely for the brushes. Um, if you want to pick this up, use it for your brushes, your sponges, because it has a lot of more oil and a lot of more makeup buildup. You might have to use too much. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Let me know if it's any of the any of these things. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What have you tried of these skincare products that you can agree or something that surprised you that I said about something? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you hadn't already. And like I said, links are down below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.